The legislation is based on this report by a bipartisan watchdog group established last year. Recommendations include an additional million dollars to help enforce consumer protections. The Maryland Financial Consumer Protection Commission recommendations are a backstop. Maryland's got to look out for Maryland if there's a change coming on in Washington. The report inspiring legislation requiring credit reporting agencies to alert consumers of data breaches and provide free credit freezes, eliminating loopholes in Maryland's payday loan and consumer lending statutes, regulate virtual currencies such as Bitcoin. We have resources here to help our Commissioner of Financial Regulation, our Attorney General, make sure that the federal law is enforced in Maryland, even if it's not being enforced by Mr. Trump's appointees. The federal Dodd-Frank law allows states to act on their own. The panel recommends providing more staff and money to both the Commission of Financial Regulation and the state AG. Uh, I think one of the important things in there is that uh, we need an extra million dollars to go to uh, the Attorney General's office, uh, Brian Frosch, to make sure that we have the resources uh, to protect consumers of the state of Maryland. The report recommends increasing civil penalties up to $10,000 for consumer fraud. Maryland ranks 46 in the nation when it comes to fines. Another key recommendation, create a student loan bill of rights and ombudsman to protect loan recipients from bad actors in the for-profit college industry. The Child Advocacy Institute gives Maryland an F in this area. We set up a, a, a fund, a, a guarantee fund, but actually a, a fund that all the uh, for-profit colleges had to kick into to ensure that any student was, there would be no liability if they went under it. The commission, which includes appointees of Governor Hogan, voted unanimously in favor of all the recommendations. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.